then uh, the second point I remembered clearly uh, is avoiding the personal emptiness days. Today is 27th May. Um, over the Saturday and Sunday, I uh, went to attend the date selection, so called beginners course uh, conducted by J.Y. Dawson. Uh, the reason of attending that particular session was to uh, at least improve the knowledge on uh, activations because uh, choosing the right dates to activate and reap the maximum benefits of the activation. So the most basic one would be uh, ensuring that it doesn't clash with the year or with the with the animal that's found in the year pillar of our natal uh, Bazi chart. Then uh, the second point I remembered clearly uh, is avoiding the personal emptiness days. Like for myself, the anti personal emptiness days are the horse and the goat. I remembered doing a feng shui on the alcalf mansion uh, for one of the clients. And last night I went to revisit. They I discovered, okay, Ken, I don't really have their budget charts. The dates that I gave was more of uh, avoiding the clash. Since the client shared with me their uh, the year of birth, first layer has been taken care, but it's the second layer that I want to take care, which is the personal emptiness days. In that uh, dates that I gave them, it also accounted for the 12 day officers. So it's this second part, the personal emptiness days that I wanted to uh, address. Uh, since I don't have the parts of charts, now I understand the importance of having at least uh, the, the whole date of birth. That is what I wanted to uh, document down so that the next time I revisit, there is a structured framework on how to assess uh, the function of uh, any homes that are selected. If you like any insights, uh, just kindly drop me a message below. Use the keyword uh, that will be uh, shared in the video description. So thank you for watching. See you soon.